Eh, siku ya jana kulikuwa kuna naweza kusema kama mabishano hivi baina ya wanigeria huko na uweziamini mtu ambaye walikuwa na mbishania uh, ni nguli wa muziki wa bongo flavor odo kutokea hapa Afrika Mashariki na mzungumzia damu platinumz kuna mwandishi mmoja wa habari za michezo kutokea nchini Nigeria lakini kazi zake anafanyia uh, zaidi huko German anaitwa Omo Akatuba Uh, ujamaa alianzisha huo mjadala na ukawa mkubwa kweli kweli wakawa na bishana huyu ana tweet huyu ana tweet pia so uh, ilikuwa patashika nguo kuchanika hii ni baada uh, ya jamaa mmoja anefahamika kwa jina la Chuma Noli uh, bila shaka pia ni Nigeria akasema kwamba alisema kwamba Wizkid Davido and Banaboy are the big three of African music kwamba Wizkid Davido pamoja na Banaboy ndo wasanii wakubwa wa muziki hapa barani Afrika. Akauliza hapa which player joins Ronaldo and Messi to complete the big three of world football. Kwamba mchezaji gani unahisi anaweza uh, kuungana na Messi pamoja na Ronaldo ili akamilishe wale wachezaji wakubwa watatu duniani. Kwa hiyo Uh, ule mfano wa kwanza wa Wizkid Davido na Banaboy ni wasanii wakubwa hapa barani Afrika alikuwa anatolea kama mfano ili aje aulize ili swali kwamba je unahisi hapa duniani ni wachezaji gani uh, i mean ni mchezaji gani uh, inabidi aongezeke uh, pale kwa Messi na Ronaldo ili akamilishe wachezaji wakubwa watatu duniani je ni Leo Ndondo au ni Sadio Mane au ni Mohamed Salah au ni nani unahisi ni Neyma ni Mbappe au naisi ni nani so alikuwa anauliza swali kama hilo sasa huyu mwandishi anafahamika kwa jina la Omo Akatuba ambaye naye pia ni Nigeria akaja ku reply yo tweet ya uh, Chuma Noli akamwambia kwamba uh, we like to think uh, we like to think that as a Nigerians we are the only big ones kwamba always wetu nafikiria sisi wa Nigeria ndio wakubwa peke yetu akamwambia hapa kwamba Damon is a very big artist and by his number may be bigger than two out of the three you mentioned kwamba uh, siku zote tunahisi pengine sisi wa Nigeria ndio wakubwa akamwambia hapa chuma noli kwamba Damon ni msanii mkubwa sana kwa namba na kwa namba zake anawashinda hata wasanii wa wili ambao umewa mention hapo kumbuka amewa mention wasanii watatu point kubwa ya Omo Akatuba anasema kwamba Uh, Damon anamzidi Wizkid pamoja na Davido hapa barani Afrika. Uh, labda Banaboy anaweza akawa wa kwanza ila Damon ni wa pili. No point kubwa ya Oma Akatuba. Kumbuka naye ni Nigeria, sio Mtanzania, sio Mkenya, sio Mrwanda wala sio Burundi. Naye ni Nigeria ila anafahamu ukubwa wa Damon Platinum. Anasema kwamba Damon ni mkubwa kuliko Davido pamoja na Wizkid. So akamwambia hapa Chuma Nori kwamba Damon is a very big artist and by his number may be bigger than two out of the three you mentioned. Anaweza akawa mkubwa kuliko wasanii wa wawili kati ya watatu ambao wewe umewataja. Ndio point ya Oma akatuba. Sasa ukao mvutano kweli kweli baada ya ujamaa kusema kwamba Damon anawazidi Davido pamoja na Wizkid, maybe Banaboy uh, ndo anaweza akamzidi tu Damon. Lakini kwa Afrika anawazidi hao Davido pamoja na Wizkid. Ikawa pointi na mzozo kweli kweli. Wanigeria wenzake wakaanza kumshambulia. Uh, mfano kama unavyoona huyu anaitwa uh, Baron Nani sijui anasema kwamba Oma these uh, three men are on different level worldwide. Damon is big also though. Uh, kwamba uh, awa sani watatu anazungumzia Davido, uh, Wizkid pamoja na Banaboy wako kwenye level nyingine. Lakini Damon pia ni msanii mkubwa ila hawakuti ndo kitu ambacho anamaanisha. Oma Katuba akaja kumwambia kwamba he is also different level worldwide. Kwamba naye pia uh, yuko kwenye level nyingine kabisa ya tofauti duniani. Uh, kuna huyu anaitwa Papi akamwambia kwamba Damon should run things in West Africa, Europe or America make we see. Um, uh, Oma Katuba akaja kumwambia kwamba so you don't see him closing down shows worldwide. May you don't know him well. Pengine umjui kwamba umuoni akifanya show uh, duniani kote. Uh, pengine umfuatilie sana hao umjui anamwambia Papi. Uh, kuna huyu mwingine anaitwa Adeleke Abiola anasema kwamba mention the two sir kwamba hebu mention hao wasanii wawili ambao unahisi Damon anawazidi kwenye ile top 3 uh, Oma Katuba akamwambia kwamba no worry na 
I don't know I don't want Twitter to blow up I am enjoying football. Kumbuka huyu ni mwanamichezo lakini aliingilia baada ya kuona yule jamaa amemtoa Diamond Platinums kwenye ile top 3 ya wasanii wakali hapa barani Afrika. Uh, mwingine huyu anaitwa Say Alo alikuja akamwambia uh, Omar Katuba kwamba Diamond isn't coming close to any Nigeria's big three. Uh, yes, his YouTube number are great but what about streaming platform and the nini? So huyu Say Alao alikuja akamwambia kwamba Diamond hawakuti kabisa wasanii watatu wakubwa um, uh, wa Nigeria. Uh, sawa namba zake YouTube ni kubwa lakini vipi kuhusu platforms nyingine kama Audio Mac, Boomplay, Spotify na nyinginezo? Ndio kitu ambacho alikuwa anamaanisha. Alafu kosa lake kubwa akasema kwamba forget about what flavor said. Damo no rich fireboy self. Kwamba Damo ndiye amfikia hata fireboy. So huyu alikuja kuleta dharau za hali ya juu. Anasema kwamba Damo namfikia hata fireboy. <laughs> Oma Katuba akaja kumjibu akamwambia kwamba Fireboy he again the typical Nigerian arrogance this is very ridiculous uh, statement kwamba hii ni statement ya kijinga sana kwamba Fireboy tena so huyu anasema kwamba eti damu na anaziwa mpaka na Fireboy so alikuwa mzozo uh, mkubwa kweli kweli huko kwenye mtandao wa Twitter mwingine huyu anaitwa Segan alikuja akasema kwamba I am curious can Damon sell uh, the O2 kwamba Diamond hivi anaweza kujaza O2 Arena. Uh, ndo kitu ambacho alikuja akisema huyo jamaa. Uh, Oma Katuba kamjibu kwamba a lot of few things selling out O2 is special. Kwamba watu wengi kama nyie mnadhani pengine kujaza O2 ndo kitu cha special sana. Diamond sells out a stadium in Africa. Kwa nini asiweze kujaza O2? The people the O2 uh, most of them are still same Africans but abroad. Kwamba watu wengi ambao wanaingia kwenye shows hizo za otu ni wa Afrika wale wale sema tu wale ambao wanaishi uh, pale uh, Uingereza. Damon as his crowd abroad as well as he does in Africa. He will cause down now too. Kwamba Damon ana watu wengi pia huko abroad kama ambavyo anao hapa barani Afrika. Ana uwezo pia wa kujaza Alimjibu vizuri sana nimependa sana ilo jibu. Wasanii wa Nigeria wengi wanasaidiwa na idadi kubwa ya namba ya watu uh, kutokea West Africa kule pale London. Ndio maana wanajaza kirahisi sana O2. Kwa hiyo kujaza O2 uh, sio kigezo cha kuwa msanii mkubwa. I don't think so. Kwa hiyo Oma Akatuba ameokonga moyo wangu. Amenikosha sana kwa ili jibu lake. <laughs> Mwingine alikuja akamwambia kwamba not on any of the three level fact kwamba Damon hamfiki awafikia wasani watatu huo ndo kweli huyu anaitwa mastermind uh, wote ni wa Nigeria jamani wanabishana wao kwa wao huyu uh, jamaa Nigeria mwenzao Oma Katuba akaja kumwambia kwamba which fact just emotions kwamba kwa fact gani unahisi hawafikia wasani watatu kama sio tu miemko yako eh, kuna mwingine anaitwa nani huyu Say Ala alikuja akamwambia kwamba Oma go make a research na Damon no near with kid Davido bana Olami the fireboy for numbers do alikuja akamwambia kwamba hapa eti Oma hebu nenda kafanya research Damon amkuti with kid Davido bana boy Olami the wala fireboy kwa namba uh, Oma Katuba akaja na kumjibu kwamba uh, bro, no even mention Olamide and Fireboy. Where Damon Day? Uh, so ujemani kama ametukosea heshima hata wana East Africa. Kusema Damon amkuti hata Fireboy. <laughs> I say, kuna mwingine huyu anaitwa Energy Charles Obi alikuja na kumwambia kwamba you have to agree that he is nowhere near Big Wizzy, Barnaboy and Davido. Those three uh, na Prime BBC or MC ano eh wakasema kwamba hawakuti Damon, amkuti Davido, amkuti Barnaboy wala Wizkid. Oma Katuba akaja kumjibu kwamba Damon holds uh, the records at the first African based artist to have uh, 900 million views on YouTube. Kwamba Damon anashikilia record. Uh, ya kuwa msanii wa kwanza kutokea hapa barani Afrika kuwa na views milioni 900 na ndo alikuwa msanii wa kwanza kufikisha 1 billion views. Ya, kwa hapa barani Afrika kwa wale wasanii wanaopatikana kwenye nchi zilizopo kusini mwa jangwa la Sahara. Mwingine anaitwa Esuai, e, alikuja na kumwambia kwamba please focus on football that you know about. On this music thing you got no clue. Kwamba ebu focus kwenye uh, masuala yako ya mpira 
ambayo unayajua kwenye haya maswala ya muziki hujui kwa sababu huna vithibitisho vya kutosha au vidokezo vinavyoonyesha kwamba Damon ni mkubwa kuliko Wizkid pamoja na Davido. Huyo jamaa kaja kumjibu huyo uh, jamaa kwamba who gave you the uh, certificate to determine who was a crew on music. Wewe nani amekupa amekupa nini sijui cheti ili ujue kwamba kuna mtu ambaye anastahili au ana vigezo au ana evidence uh, za kuchambua mziki na vitu vingine kama hivyo so mwamba alikuwa anawajibu vizuri sana mimi nimependa namna ambavyo alikuwa anawajibu kuna yule mwingine anaitwa the newel uh, the newel nani alikuja na kumwambia kwamba people don't understand how big a star damon is he's the gatekeeper to east african music industry Watu watambui vizuri ukubwa wa Damon Platinumz. Ni kama gatekeeper kwa muziki kwa kiwanda, kwenye kiwanda cha muziki wa hapa Afrika Mashariki. Kwamba ndiye anayefungua geti. Hata wasanii wa Nigeria wakija hapa East Africa Damon Platinumz ndo anawafungulia geti. Sasa mnaweza mkaona ukubwa wa Damon Platinumz anavojadiliwa huko nchini Nigeria. Anaitwa nani huyu anasema kwamba uh, Oma, if you continue with this argument you will waste time with these people nigerians always think we rule africa in everything when in fact a lot of them don't see beyond this country just ignore kwamba oma ukiendelea na mjadala utakuwa unapoteza muda wako wa nigeria sisi tunahisi pengine tuna uh, kitawala kila kitu kila kitu sisi ndo mabingwa uh, wakati kuna watu wengine ambao wanafanya vizuri nje ya nigeria sema sisi tunahisi pengine tunatawala kila kitu that's it na ndio kweli ulivyo hawa popo wanahisi kila kitu wao wanakiweza anaitwa sega na anasema kwamba i got you uh, but damon is not bigger than his kid davido or bana is not even close to them uh, to any of them at all uh, oma katuba kaja na kumjibu kwamba uh, they are not bigger than him only bana boy is bigger than him now kwa mabana boy peke yake ndio mkubwa kuliko Damon ila wawili waliobaki Davido na Wizkid sio wakubwa kuliko uh, Damon. Uh, so mjadala ulikuwa wa moto kweli kweli na kila mtu aliandika kile ambacho anaisi ni sahihi. Nadhani kiendelea kusoma hapa tunaweza tukamaliza kesho lakini mjadala ulikuwa wa moto kweli kweli. Wema maoni yako ni yapi? Eh? Uh, naomba niwaletee na nyie hii mada sasa mwanze kuichambua. Unaisi Damon Platinum Square anawazidi uh, hao wasanii wawili ambao Oma Katuba anasema kwamba anawazidi uh, Davido pamoja na Wizkid na anafaa kuwa kwenye nambari mbili. Uh, unaisi ni kweli au sio kweli? Drop money yako hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments I mean comment section. Majina yangu anaitwa Mido Simba. Bye bye tell uh, the next time. Uh.